Hello, you're watching the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa attended the National Day Endurance Horse Race held at the Bahrain International Endurance Village, organized by the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Honorary President of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation Brief, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The race was also attended by the Deputy President of the Supreme Council for the Environment and Deputy President of the Coordination and Follow-up Committee at the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa and the President of Brief, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. His Majesty watched the 20-kilometer race for the youth category along with Her Highness Sheikh Shima bin Nasser Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad, his Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Nasser, along with 27 horsemen and women from local stables. His Majesty the King praises His Highness Sheikh Nasser's efforts in developing endurance sports to the best possible levels, which he said is an authentic Arab sport and tradition. He affirmed that Brief's plans to organize the race has given confidence to the youth and helps in preparing them to excel in the future. His Majesty the King also praised the efforts of Brief in supporting its horsemen and women, which he said is reflected in Bahrain's participation in races abroad and many achievements. His Majesty congratulated the winning horsemen and women, which featured intense competition and high levels of sportsmanship. He praised the performance of all those who participated and wished them luck in the 120-kilometer race on National Day. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed thanks and appreciation for His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for patronizing the endurance sports and for following the National Day Horse event for the youth category at the International Endurance Sports Village, which was organized by and sponsored by Batilco. He said that His Majesty's attendance has improved the morale of, of the participants and raised their confidence levels, which gives reasons for optimism for the future of these youth and the kingdom. He affirmed that the race has yielded a number of achievements, including increasing their confidence and promoting the sport among them. He said that the upcoming 120 race on the National Day is being prepared for an ideal manner by all and that the competition promises to be fierce. He wished all luck and success. He, all, His Highness also praised Batilco's sponsorship and thanked Manarat Al Bahrain for sponsoring the financial rewards for the winners, which he said represents an important incentive. His Highness also congratulated and honored the winners in the youth category and expressed keenness on providing them with sport support in the presence of Her Highness Sheikh Hashima bint Nasser and Sheikh Mohammed bin Nasser, followed by the honoring of all the 30 participants.
The Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa participated online in the third ministerial meeting for the Interior Ministers of the International Security Alliance, which includes Bahrain, the United Arab Emirates, Morocco, Italy, Slovakia, France, Israel, Spain, Senegal, and Singapore. The alliance was announced in 2017 in the UAE and is based in Abu Dhabi. It serves as a forum to exchange expertise and promote the best practices and means of training the police and confronting organized and transcontinental crime. In a speech, the Interior Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Interior of the UAE, Sheikh Saif bin Zayed Al Hayyan, and welcomed the states that recently joined the alliance. He praised the cooperation's programs presented and the proposals concerning the time frame for the years 2021 and 2022, which will play a vital role in bolstering joint security and productive cooperation between member states. The minister then reviewed the dangers of extremism and the endeavors of its agents to achieve their goals, whether through media, politics, or the use of violence. He warned against not only the words, but actions of these groups, particularly as they present themselves to international media and NGOs as peaceful and moderate. He warned that this is only a cover-up for their real agendas. During the meeting, a number of topics of mutual interest were discussed, as well as means of exchanging expertise to unite efforts against security threats and to create joint strategies to combat crime within a global police framework to counter future security threats. The Minister of Housing, Basim Al Hamar, announced that the budget for the housing sector in the year 2020 reached 19 million Bahraini dinars and benefited 600 citizens. He affirmed that these services are part of the ministry's plans to diversify the options that are available to the citizens in order to increase access to suitable housing as part of the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa as well as the government plan. The minister added that the ministry offered 378 services to fund purchases which amount to just over 7.5 million dinars, 150 service of nearly 10 million dinars to fund construction, in addition to 74 services to fund home renovation. The capital governor, Sheikh Hisham bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, honored the Jidhaf Secondary Girls School team, who won the bronze award in the fifth Korea International Youth Olympiad Online 2020 for their project, The Smart Shoe for the Disabled. The school represented the Gulf Cooperation Council countries in the international competition. Sheikh Hisham said that the school's participation comes in light of the keen interest and support of the leadership to ensure that the youth's energy are developed through innovation. Sheikh Hisham said that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's initiative to launch the HOPE Fund is intended to support such projects and initiatives by the youth. Sheikh Hisham congratulated the winners, which included the school's principal, Suha Hamada, the chief chemistry teacher Zainab Hamadi, the students Zainab Al Maulani, Amna Al Maulani, and the graduate Zahra Al Safi. Sheikh Hisham praised the students' pioneering work and added that the achievements reflects the Ministry of Education's efforts to encourage students to innovate. The event was attended by the Deputy Governor Hassan Abdullah Al Madani, along with a number of other officials from the Governorate. The Smart Shoes is a product that helps visually impaired people moving around and walking by themselves independently without the need for the stick or a companion to help them. So the shoes um, are programmed to detect any obstacle that is about 30 centimeters to 1.5 meters and accordingly it will alert the user by sound and vibration. The intensity of sound and vibration both will be higher or lower depending on the distance um, for the obstacle. The Bahrain Center for Political Development organized a roundtable discussion coinciding with Bahraini Women's Day entitled The Relationship Between Diplomacy and Political Development. The chairwoman of the Bahrain Chamber for Dispute Resolutions and former head of the UN General Assembly, Sheikh Haya bin Rashid Al Khalifa affirmed that the Bahraini women enjoy the full support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, especially in the diplomatic field. She praised the positive role of the Supreme Council for Women, headed by Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, whose efforts enhanced women's presence in all fields. Sheikh Haya said that political development and diplomatic work are deeply connected. On both use the same tools to enhance the diplomatic relations with other countries in the service of common interest. She affirmed the importance of focusing on education 
and said that the achievements of contemporary Bahraini women have been helping in the early inclusion of women in formal education, which paved the way towards making them into the partners of men. The secretariats of the Shura and Representative Councils signed today a cooperation agreement with the Ministry of Information within the framework of joint work to cover the legislative branches, programs and activities and broadcast the Parliament's deliberations. The agreement was signed in the presence of the Information Ministry Under Secretary Abdurrahman Mohammed Bahar, Shura Council Secretary General Chancellor Osama Ahmed Al Asfour, and Representative Council Secretary General Chancellor Rashid Mohammed Bunajma. The key role played by the Ministry of Information in informing the public opinion about the legislative branch's work was stressed. The Information Ministry Under Secretary praised cooperation between the Parliament and the Ministry of Information, stressing the Ministry's contribution to highlighting the legislative branch's efforts and achievements, as well as showcasing success of the Kingdom's Comprehensive Development March in the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He also underscored keenness of the Ministry of Information to provide every support to the Shura and Representative Councils to achieve common national goals. The Secretaries General of the Shura and Representative Councils lauded the continuous directives of the Council's chairpersons to cooperate with local and international mass media, given the role of the media in informing the public opinion about legislative work in the Kingdom of Bahrain. A total of 12 ideas from 40 government employees have been qualified for the final stage of the Government Innovation Competition, Fikra, launched by His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The finalists will each give a three-minute presentation, either individually or in a group, to an evaluation committee comprising government ministers tasked with narrowing down the qualifying candidates in conjunction with the participation of the public through voting. The qualified ideas are National Platform for Blood Donation Hayat Plus presented by Mohanad Suleiman Al Naimi of the Ministry of Information Affairs. Bahrain Smart Waste Management presented by Ahmed Isam Al Janahi of the Office of the Deputy Prime Minister. Dana Abdullah Al Bouareki of the Bahrain Institute for Public Administration BIPA. And Khaled Salman Al Sheikh of the Survey and Land Bureau Registration. E. Hawiya, Hawiya, presented by um, Muhammad Khalid Ashishani and Ahmed Imaduddin Abdullah Sayyid from the Information Government Authority IGA. Our Country, Your Country app, presented by Ayman Ali Al Fardan of the Ministry of Information Affairs. Government Outreach Task Force, presented by Salman Hassan Al Jalahma of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Medic in Every Home, presented by Kauthar Fuad Salman and Nadia Jassim. Budris from the Ministry of Health. Extended responsibility of the producer in managing plastic waste, presented by Mohammed Makki Aman of the Supreme Council of Environment. Bahrain's virtual consulate uh, platform, presented by Abdul Aziz Al Amiri, Jassim Mohammed Janahi, and Mohammed Salman Shubbar from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. National e training platform, presented by Hashim Al Alawi of the Shura Council. Expanding mental health services in the community, presented by Buthayn Al Asfour and Dr. Ali Al Salman from the Ministry of Health. Medical Malpractice Insurance, presented by Faisal Isa Hamad of the, of the University of Bahrain and Mohammed Al Ghassar of the Ministry of Interior. Tamlik Program, presented by Mahmoud Kalim of Bahrain's Labour Fund, Tamkeen. The Fikra Competition accelerates development through a participatory and sustainable citizen centered approach and fosters a culture of innovation encouraging government employees to put forward innovative solutions to advance government performance and efficiency in line with Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030 and the Government Program 2019 to 2022. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases has reached 1,630 with 171 recoveries, 201 registered new cases. 101 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 77 are contacts of active cases, and 14 are travel-related. The Ministry urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.